So Vanishing Point is an exhibition that is focused around the idea of an island. I believe they're a metaphor for many things, for belonging, and for you and me, border politics and wall building and all this kind of the division that goes on today. I think the island's kind of become even more as a symbol. I guess I'm interested in people being able to see ideas that are connected together but articulated in different ways and that maybe talk about other little aspects of life brought together. Well, I guess the idea of not having a corner for each artist, for example, was that it is a conversation and so that it would be this kind of um, interspersal of, 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 um, of voices, of ideas and so on. Because it is a artist-led show, we wanted it to be an open format. There's that sense of proximity and distance, like a lens, you're zooming in or you're, or you're pulling focus back out. It's that looking at an island and the idea of an island from lots of different angles. There's a theme that is around the idea of the island and also a subtext to do with lens-based practice. The works can bounce off each other, whether it's through the colours or the way something is made. Um, so you can see those connections right away and it's not really about which artist made it as much as it is about that idea. So a phantom island is an island that has been mapped but has subsequently been proven not to exist. So I'm an adopted person. One of the very only details I know about my identity is that I'm half Mauritian. And so throughout my life I had this idea of this island that it would somehow solve this mystery within myself. And so when I eventually went to visit Mauritius, I felt no, I, I, I was hoping I'd feel a sense of being at home in the world and I did not feel that. So it was the idea of that pinning your hopes on a landmass like these explorers, you know, two and three hundred years ago, pinning your hopes on this discovery, this this land and, and, and what we uh, what we as people often try to ascribe to a landmass of a relationship or an identity and for then that to actually not, not be existing. Well, I think my work looks at photography from a deconstructed perspective. So breaking down the idea of photography into its base parts. It's light, it's mirrors, it's apertures. I'm presenting works where images appear and disappear through um, programming to make lights illuminate and then uh, dim, which allow images to be seen and then unseen. So I make videos, I make sculptures, I bring them together. Uh, in installations, with paintings and drawings. I think that we're constantly performing in aspects of our life and so bringing that into my arts practice just seemed like a natural way to work. I choose materials that relate to my Fijian heritage, my Australian heritage. I'm interested in using materials that replace, have replaced traditional ways of making. So tarp has replaced, say, palm thatching, calico uh, to replace um, mussy, um, bamboo, that kind of thing. For this work I've used depictions of myself, drawings, uh, videos of cleaning grave sites to remember the dead and also an image that looks a bit like a landscape. My work fits into the idea of an island more of a like philosophically or as a like a thought process of being in on an island right now amongst a sea of people but coming from another island and also coming from another place further away from that and just like the those kind of aspects that make up a diaspora identity which actually in fact is most people's identity here in Australia. My work focuses on how we um, deal with space, so how we perceive space and how we experience space. 
So the Infinity Screen is part of a series of works that, I'm, that I started doing that are tied to the idea of an atmosphere. An Infinity Screen acts as a device that, that places an object or a person when being photographed in, a, in what is supposedly a neutral space or a non-space. And this idea of neutrality in space and, and, and non-spaces, as in spaces that can't exist, is something that is really interesting to me in the way that we understand space overall. The identity and belonging has been of interest to me for a long time as I'm from past the Arctic Circle in far north Norway and I've moved around a bit and I've been in Australia now for over 20 years and I find this an interesting point of um, who you become when you shift place and what it impacts upon you and how you see the world. I photographed islands both in the northern and southern hemisphere. I look at the physicality of islands. I'm from an island, I live in an island, and I think it's something that crosses over multiple layers within my work. I'm particularly interested in the uncanny, which is the response you might feel when you enter into a place that somehow feels like you've been before or it reconnects you and therefore might remind you of an experience you had in the past. Um, and I think it's connected to my own diaspora and that idea of you bring something with you when you go somewhere else and you find triggers around you that activate those memories. In terms of artist-led exhibitions, I think they're a very strong way to create work that has a real resonance and a real relationship to each other. When you have an artist-led exhibition, there is a very deep understanding. We all have a very deep understanding of each other's practices, the similarities between them and the strengths and the ties, the relationships. I think our intention is to open up the works to so you they aren't closed in and that to open up the concept to, under, to get a greater understanding of the island as beyond its physical thing but as an idea and, and a concept that crosses all five practices. I'm interested in the audience walking around the works and seeing those connections that relate to the theme but also relate to this maybe experience of colour through the work or an experience of light through the work but that talk to aspects of life and living and history and memory um, and can kind of like by going through all of those works in the exhibition um, have that experience over time so that then they walk out of the show and hopefully um, it's not just something that they hey I just got it it's just something they think about as they go through the day.